Hey everyone, welcome back to the Joe of Culture. Today we're going to be talking about a uh, story that actually just happened to me. I wanted to kind of tell it like in the moment sort of thing. I just uh, went and uh, so me and my friend hung out. We hung out in the pool today. We were all having a good time. We decided we wanted to go to a uh, like this little, little. I guess it's a dive bar. I don't know if that's right. It's kind of like a bar, but it's also a restaurant on the other side of the bar. It's like, but it's like a bar bar. It's not like a bar at a restaurant, if you know what I mean. So we're in the bar and uh, we're there to listen to some lady on Instagram. Uh, if I can find her Instagram, I'll put it in the description down below because she was a really cool lady. Really liked uh, her music. It was actually really good. Uh, I mean, actually, like I'm saying, actually, like, like you'd th think that it wouldn't be good. No, it was good. It was good music. I liked it. Had a had a blast. Uh, so me, my my friend, my two friends, we were sitting there, and this, uh, and we're sitting there for like a good time. We maybe uh, listened to like two sets of this uh, this uh, lady playing music, and uh, pretty much what happened is this dude is sitting at the bar. Like I I didn't know, like when he walked in, I didn't really notice anything about him. I just was like, oh yeah, that that's just another guy he's at the bar he's having a good time uh apparently they had beef prior though like they had problems so uh, they actually had problems in the past i'm not too sure about that but uh she kind of said like oh i don't like this guy he comes in a lot and he's he's a problem and i'm like oh, all right well oh after the fact so it's not like i knew this beforehand so what happens is this guy uh all right, so me and my friends are there. It's not really a lot of people in there, so she's kind of giving us, like, the extra attention because we're, like, just a group of young people in there, and she's like, oh, she's digging in and stuff. I don't want to say hippie, but, I mean, I don't know if she describe herself as a hippie, but, like, in a positive way, not, like, in the, like, I know people have negative connotations on hippie, but, like, I, I don't think so. I feel like that, uh, I feel, <laughs> I feel like there's a good and a bad version of using it, and I'm using the good version of it. So this lady is really, uh, really chill, uh, she comes over to us and she's like, hey, you guys, uh, you've been uh, hanging out, you've been listening to music and everything. And uh, she was like, oh, why don't you come come outside and we'll hang out? So we go outside and uh, like I'm a big dude. And they asked, uh, they, she's like, oh, who wants to arm wrestle? And I'm just like, I'm I'm not going to do that. <laughs> like, I'm a big dude. I'm not trying to like, because it's like, yeah, she, she's I think the way she described it was a uh, big, big guy is obvious like if if we arm wrestled like it's just a silly thing but um my so she arm wrestled my one friend and uh my one friend like their brother and sister so like she arm wrestled the brother i don't know i'm i'm sure you wouldn't care if i used his name but i'm not gonna because why not i don't know i'm it's not really necessary to the story i'm just gonna keep calling them my friends friend one and friend two the boys friend one the girls friend two i guess i don't know that's not like i like two just as much as one in number situations i don't know it doesn't really matter so uh so pretty much they start uh arm wrestling and of course my friend wins uh just because like guy is obvious i guess i don't know like he, he also i think he works out pretty regularly i don't know i i should ask i guess uh but so while we're, well that's going on she she notices uh this guy inside and apparently this guy is going up to the uh drum set on stage and like i guess he's like either really drunk she thought she was on some sort of drugs or something because he hadn't been at the bar for very long from what i saw like when he when we got there we didn't see him so like i got to assume that he showed up after we had already been there for a little bit i'm not too sure maybe he was at the restaurant and he decided he was going over to the other side but i doubt it, it seemed like he came directly for the bar and after we had already been there, like we didn't see him outside or anything, sitting at the uh, out outdoor seating. Uh, but this guy comes, he starts playing on the drums and stuff. So she goes in there and she starts telling him, "Hey, I've already told you before, don't touch the drums, don't touch the instruments," because, like, she's kind of getting pissed at this guy because uh, apparently he's probably been doing this prior to this incident. At least I gotta say, I assume he has been. So what happens is they end up. Uh, arguing and my friend decides oh i'm gonna jump in there and i'm just sort of sitting there like like i don't really know what they're arguing about it did, like they're far away I, I wasn't gonna try and jump in there unless like he actually like got close to her but he was on one side of the bar she was on the other side of the bar and like he kept turning around like he was gonna go back but then he kept turning back if you know what i mean like he's like oh you want to go you want to go and he turn around and then he turned back like he then like because like we kept telling like they were telling him like to leave don't touch the instruments and stuff 
So pretty much what happens is that goes on for a little bit. She like he's doing that, and, uh, and the girl's doing what she's doing, and uh, so my friend gets like up in his face because like this guy's not stopping. Like he keeps going back and forth, and he keeps getting. It seemed like it was escalating. So my friend kind of gets in there, and apparently, my friend said I didn't see this like per se, or if I did, I probably would have jumped into it. I I didn't actually see it though. He was getting apparently his face got pushed against glass of some kind. I don't I don't. Maybe, like, I don't think he actually got pushed up. Maybe he did. I, I don't think he did, though. Like, we hadn't been drinking at that point. We hadn't drank anything yet. Uh, actually, none of us were really drinking. I ended up getting a drink after this, but that's irrelevant for now. Actually, I think that might just be irrelevant in general. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, so he's getting up in this guy's face, and they're just, like, kind of pushing each other, like, their chests. And, like, the guy's holding a drink at the same time, and, like, he's spilling the drink, and I'm just, like... I, honestly, I, my brain's stupid, so I don't know why I was focusing on the drink as much as I was, but I was like, oh my god, he's gonna expose... Maybe because I'm like, if he drops the glass and it shatters, that's, like, not safe, I guess. I don't know. My brain works stupid. So pretty much what happens is, they push each other, uh, and, like, they're talking stuff, and my friend's like, I, my friend must be crazy or something. I'm like, I'm not sure what he's doing here. He just starts, uh, like, the guy's, like, saying stuff, and he starts going, yeah, 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 like, making fun of the guy. And I'm like, that's probably, like, he's not drunk or anything. Like, I guess that's just, like, his go-to of how how to handle a situation like this, which I'm just like, I don't know why that would be. Like, I, I don't know. I like to talk people into submission for the most part. But this guy, uh, by the point, like, I get involved, like, talking is kind of probably, oh, no, all right, all right, we're going to keep going. So, so they're, they're, then they start arguing. And finally, we get the guy out of the building. He's, and we kind of, like, us, try to usher him out of the place completely like we don't really want him there uh like even the bartender's kind of like yeah you gotta go like i guess he was gonna call like the owners or something of the building because i don't think he i think he's just like renting the space maybe i'm not too sure I, I, i'm not gonna pretend like i know what's going on in that bar but uh that's just like the assumption i got uh so finally this guy starts walking away everyone goes back to sitting down but he, like he start uh he had went away and we we're like this is bullshit like that, guy, that guy's crazy and uh, he ends up coming back saying uh, saying more stuff. And that's when I was like, I get up and I'm like, bro, nobody wants you here. You need to leave. And he's just like, there's a lot of people who want me here. And I'm just like, like this is at the point where I'm like actually getting in the conversation. For the most part, he just was shouting random nonsense. I don't know. Maybe maybe it wasn't random nonsense because he wasn't talking to me. I don't know. But he starts, uh, he starts saying like, a lot of people want me here. I mean, for the most part, they weren't really arguing. So I guess that's why. Like, it wasn't like that. I don't know. And then I, uh, I respond to that. I'm like, yeah, I don't think anybody here right now wants you here. Like, maybe some other time. And, like, he kind of wasn't really listening. Other people were screaming behind me. And I'm just like, it's kind of a pain in the butt. But it's whatever. So, uh, I'm not really sure how much more was said after that point. But he just tries to, like, rush at me. And, like, I barely, I, like, I, I push him. Like, I don't think I pushed him really that hard. I... I definitely don't condone it. I don't think people should be pushing people, but this guy was like, he was, he was a belligerent person having like a problem at a bar and I have a security license. So I'm just like, well, I might as well use the security license to, for some good today because why not? Uh, so I, 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 I kind of like grab him by the shoulders cause he's like, he's drunk. He's intoxicated with something. I don't know if he's actually drunk or not. Like, did he pregame and come there? I'm not sure, but like. It's whatever. I push him, and I, like, I don't think I use that much force, but he goes really far. Like, I pushed him, like, I want to say, like, four feet, maybe. Like, he stumbled backwards four feet. Like, I pushed him, and he, he shot back, like, two feet, and then, like, he, like, <laughs> kind of, like, bounced on his feet, like, one foot, and then, like, he kind of walked back one more foot, if that makes any sense. But uh, he ends up saying to me, oh, yeah, you're you're real tough uh messing with a guy half my uh half half your size and twice your age. I'm just like, yeah, then why don't you act your age then? Cuz you're like cuz he's like having a problem here. And that doesn't even really make sense when you say it like that like cuz yes, you're half my size and I didn't want to get involved. You made me get involved cuz you're having like a mental breakdown because you can't play the drums at the like he was trying to play the drums on the stage and like he's having a mental breakdown because people are telling him hey you can't play the drums it's not your drum set you've been warned about this like why are you doing that and it's just ridiculous that this guy thinks he's so cool 
<laughs> or something. I don't even know if he thought he was cool as much as he just thought, like, he felt really entitled, I guess, because he was like, oh, I come to this bar all the time. That means I get to treat people like crap, I guess. I have no idea. So I push him, and, like, he just, he just looks like, oh, my God. Like, not like, like, he, he, he felt, it felt to me that he was backing down at that point because he was like, oh, I'm, like, after I said, why don't you act your age, his face just went like, oh, shit. <laughs> I, I'm not acting my age. I'm acting like, a child that's getting drunk and having incidents at bars and like he just had nothing to say to it he was just looking around like what what did he just call me on my age <laughs> he was not ready for it let's just say that so pretty much the guy ends up looking stupid and i think that was when he realized he lost like the the six foot guy is standing there blocking my path to getting back into the bar I don't think i'm going to try anything like i probably wouldn't have beat him up i probably would have tried to like put him into like I probably like because he was drunk. I, I don't think he would have been that hard to subdue peacefully. Like I think I could grab him by the shoulder, by like the wrists, and then just like hold his wrist behind his back. Like that's all I would have to do. I'd be like, "Are you done?" Like th that was like my my game plan. Like if it really came down to like having like, or maybe I would just push him again out of the way. Like if he came at me, I'd probably just push him. Like no, stop. <laughs> like I I didn't even mean to push him that far the first time. I I didn't even realize I used that much strength. I think he was just really drunk and he was easy to push. Like, he, he was just ragdolling, but he was still able to stay on his feet. So, he ends up leaving, and the lady was just, like, to me and my friend, like, oh, my God, you you guys are awesome for uh, helping out. Like, like she was really grateful for it. She was like, yeah, that guy should not be allowed back here. I don't know what to, what his problem was. Even the bartender was kind of like, yeah, th that was messed up. He asked my friend if he was okay. Uh, my friend's like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. So, it, it, it was fun for everybody. Uh she ended up giving us a hug before we left. I was like, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Like, she seemed really grateful. And again, if I can find uh, her Instagram, my friend has it. I'm just not sure. That's how we found out about her, uh, about, like, the music that she was playing that night. So we thought that was really cool. And we went there through, in like, we found her through Instagram. So I feel like that would be a good thing to share. Uh, yeah, but other than that, I think we're going to end the video. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell to stay up to date on my videos. And, uh... Uh, peace out. See you later, my Chris. Okay.